Hello friends, welcome back and in this video, I will show you how to configure a VLAN in Cisco switch, how to assign a name to a VLAN, how to assign a switch port to a VLAN or you can say how to configure an access port in Cisco switch. Also, I will let you know what's the difference between access port and trunk port and how to configure a trunk port in Cisco switch. I am using Cisco 2960 series switch in this video and I already log in this switch via console cable. To go to privilege mode, I type command enable and enter. And to check the current VLAN in this Cisco switch, I type command show VLAN and enter. And here you can see by default there is only one VLAN that is VLAN 1 and it's active and here you notice currently all ports are belong to VLAN 1. And down here we have some other built-in VLAN. Here we have VLAN 1002, 3, 4 and 5. These are the built-in VLAN that come with the switch by default. Now I will show you how to configure or create VLAN in Cisco switch and how to assign a name to a VLAN. For that I type command config t short form of config terminal and press enter to go to global config mode. Here I type VLAN 30 and enter. Here you notice we are in config VLAN mode. It's mean new VLAN is configured and we are in VLAN configuration mode. Now let's assign a name to this VLAN. For that I type command name. Let's call it data. So this VLAN is for internet data service. We successfully assign a name to this VLAN and now we exit from here. I will create another VLAN by typing VLAN 50 and enter. And to assign name to this VLAN, I type name CCTV. This VLAN is for my CCTV cameras and exit from here and exit from global config mode also. Now if I type show VLAN, and enter here we can see that we have two new vlans we have vlan 30 with name data and vlan 50 with name cctv both vlans are active but no ports are assigned to them now i will show you how to create access port in cisco switch or you can say how to assign a port to a vlan i will assign first four port to vlan 30 for internet data and port number 9 to 12 to VLAN 50 for my CCTV IP cameras. For that, first I will go to global config mode and then I type interface gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 and enter. Now we are in interface config mode. Now to create an access port in Cisco switch or assign any port to a VLAN, I type command switch port mode access and enter this command make this port as access port and then i type switch port access vlan 30 and enter now i type exit and to see the port configuration i type command do show vlan and enter here you can see gigabit ethernet port number one is now belong to VLAN 30. Now I will show you how to use range command to assign multiple ports at once to any VLAN. For that I type interface range gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 2 dash 4 and enter. And now we are in interface range configuration mode. Next I make this port as access. For that I type switch port mode access and enter. Then we assign a VLAN to this access ports. For that I type switch port access VLAN 30 and enter and exit. Now to assign port number 9 to 12 to VLAN 50. I type command interface range gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 9 dash 12 and enter. 
then I type switch port mode access and enter then finally switch port access VLAN 50 and enter and then exit from here now exit again from global config mode and to check the VLAN status again I type show VLAN and enter here you can see the first four ports are assigned to VLAN 30 and port number 9 to 12 are assigned to VLAN 50 and here you notice all other remaining ports are still belong to default VLAN that is VLAN 1. I hope you know what's the difference between access port and trunk ports. If not, let me tell you. Access port are commonly used to connect the end devices to the switch and they pass a single VLAN traffic only. Like here in my case, these ports are belong to only one VLAN and end devices like PC or CCTV cameras will connect on these ports. And these ports are called access port and trunk port are commonly used to connect one switch to another or to internet router and more than one VLAN or multiple VLAN will pass from trunk port. Now let me show you how to configure a trunk port on Cisco switch. For that we go to global config mode first and then I type interface number. For example, I will use interface gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 for trunk port and then enter. Then I type switch port mode trunk and enter and then I type switch port trunk allowed VLAN and here we can allow multiple VLAN to pass from this port. I will type VLAN 1, 30, 50 and enter. That's it. We successfully configure gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24 port as trunk port and exit from this interface mode and then exit from global config mode also. Now to check I type command show run and enter. And down here you can see our access ports on this Cisco switch and here you notice it allow only one VLAN. And if I go down to interface gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 24, here you can see switch port mode is trunk. And it allow multiple VLANs on this port. That's it and thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.